For this video, I'll show you how you can create this effect for mobile menus. So the idea is when you scroll down, the menu slides down so you can see all the items. And when you scroll up, it shows back again. You can even enhance this so when the user stops scrolling, the menu shows up again, which if you stick to the end, I'll show you as a bonus. I'll be sharing with you two techniques for this one. On the first one, the menu animates down or up as soon as the scrolling direction is detected. On the second one, the menu slides according to the amount and speed you are scrolling. Let's go. So let's first understand the initial setup. To set this up, you need a container with no overflow, but with the position relative set. This is very important. Then inside you put two things, the container where you will put all the things that will scroll and the menu. This container must have overflow of auto and height of 100%. The menu must have position absolute with left and bottom set to whatever you want, but for mine, they are both 15 pixels. Notice the position is set with left and bottom. Really important detail for this to work. With that, you will have something like this. The content scrolls, but the menu is always visible on top at the bottom. This is how the HTML looks like for me. It does not matter how these are style and structure as long as you follow the setup I just told you about. Now, the first thing I need is reference to the menu and the scrolling container. I'll be listening to the scroll event on the container with passive set to true to improve scrolling performance. And we pass the scrolling handler. So to avoid creating global variable, this will be a function that returns a function so we can encapsulate some variables in the parent function scope. Now we need to call it in the listener. We need a couple of things first. We need to track the last scroll position to compare and know if the user is scrolling up or down. We need the bottom distance and we need the set transition for transform on the menu. Now inside the function, we check the direction of the scrolling by checking if the current scroll position is greater than the previous one. If so, we will translate Y and calculate 100% plus the bottom distance. This 100% is the size of the menu. Otherwise, we will set it to zero, which is the position it is current right now. Before we check the browser, we need to set previous scrolling position to the current one. If we check the browser now, we see our menu animate down when we scroll down and up when we scroll up and it's smooth. I like to use in Transform Translate because it uses GPU and the animation is always nice and smooth. Now for the second technique, I am going to copy this function and do a couple of changes first. First one is we don't need to set the transition for the menu because we will slide up or down according to the amount and speed of the user scroll. We need to track the amount we are translating, what was the direction and position change, and the max scrollable distance which is the menu height plus the bottom offset. First, we set the direction inside a string down and up. Then we need to set the last position change if the direction of the scroll change as well as the last direction of tracking. Now we need to know the difference from the current scroll position from the last position to the direction change so we know how much the user has scrolled past that point. We'll absolute it because it will be negative when the user is scrolling up. We don't need to but I prefer positive numbers. Now if the user scrolling down, we set the translate to be the difference, but we need to make sure it is greater than the menu height plus the bottom offset. Then we set the translate Y. If it is scrolling up, we subtract difference from the translate and also make sure it is always greater than zero with math max. Finally, we set our last scroll top to be the current one and check the browser. If you pay attention closely, you will see that the menu slides at the same speed I scroll. Pretty nice. Now for the bonus part, I want to make the menu scroll back up if the user is no longer scrolling. You implement this if you want. The code link for this exercise is in the description below. So for the first technique, we will create a timer and inside we will clear this timer and soon after set timeout and simply set translation to be zero after 350 milliseconds. If we check the browser again, the effect is pretty nice. Love it. Similarly, for the second technique, we set the timer, clear it, and set timeout for 350 milliseconds. And inside, we need to set the transition so it animates, then set translate to zero again. And since we don't want transition for this one, I'll set it to zero before my direction check here. Now to the browser, the effect is very similar and works beautifully. Very nice. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Check the link below and catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.